Hi guys, it's Julian and welcome to the first collectibles video of the new year. Now I've changed the format of the video for the new year because um, I, when I first wanted to do these videos I wanted to get them uh, like pretty succinct video, maybe five, six, seven minutes at a time and some of these were weighing in at about 10 minutes plus with all the bits I was putting in. So I've retained all the bits I was putting in such as the um, stills of the stills of the statue, the hands on part, the spinning section with the statue and also the um, like artists drawings of the character over the years they're all still in there but it's all being condensed um, you'll see what I mean when, when it uh, transitions over to the actual character itself so um, I will welcome your comments if you prefer this format rather than the old format I personally prefer it but it's you guys who watch the videos so I will listen to your feedback in that regard so please 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 do comment on this video whether you prefer the this or the old layout I personally prefer this like I say but it's uh, I'll see what you guys think so yeah uh, there was going to be an unboxing of this character as well but unfortunately the video corrupted and obviously you only can unbox things once but this is the latest release from Kota Bikia hot off the plane from Japan it's only been released for about a week now uh, so I hope you enjoy it and uh, thanks for Hi guys, welcome to the first collectibles video of the new year. This is Jubilee from the Kota Bakia Marvel Basojo range. It's brand new, only been out for a week. A lot of places still have this on pre-order. Really nice addition to the Kota Bakia range. So um, let's get hands on with the character and um, have a look at it. Now Jubilee is quite a bubbly character. This is a classic outfit that she generally wears. There's quite a lot of parts to this outfit. The style of the show is definitely the yellow jacket, which I think is meant to be a PVC jacket. But we have the Daisy Duke hot pants, we have the crop top there, we have the fingerless gloves and also the wrist wrap on the other hand. Um, we had the X-Men badge on the crop top there, we got the choker with the X-Men locket or necklace part on it there. We got the glasses which are interchangeable with a limited edition pair of glasses which I'll show you later on in the video. But like I say, the style of this show is definitely the jacket. You can't really appreciate it from the front that much, but you can see the materials all ruffled up because the character is in motion, casting a energy bolt of some kind at uh, probably an unsuspecting enemy. But um, we'll start off with the jacket itself there. I mean, the collar area is quite detailed there. You can see the bends and creases in the jacket. And you can see we have the choker around the neck of the character with the pink X-Men locket or whatever you want to call it. And we have also the X-Man badge on the crop top as well. I'm not sure why the character wears different things on, the, on her arms because she have, as you're looking at it, the right hand wrist wrap and the left hand is the fingerless glove. So I'm not quite sure what the significance of that is but um, that's the way she rolls. The bangles on the left hand as you're looking at it do actually move and there is kind of like a, a metal finish to the bottom of the glove area. She obviously is heavily affiliated with the X-Men with not only one, two, but three X-Men badges or logos on her outfit with the choker, the badge and the belt buckle which is a loosely fitting belt around her Daisy Duke hot pants. So if we move down the character to the, for, to the legs there, there's not a lot of muscle definition on the legs of this character because she's not one to rely on physicality as much, but um, the knees are well defined there and her legs are well defined and even in the very limited lighting of my room here you can see the definition of the lights there. Of a shadow, of a shadow and shade there, sorry. Now uh, the footwear is classic Jubilee footwear blue and white I think you call these high tops I may be wrong there I'm not up on my fashion footwear but uh, the classic Jubilee footwear that she wears blue with white soles and the white toe, toe cap area and white laces now the base of this character is probably the weakest part of the character as a whole as a statue as a whole it's a plain yellow disc it's a horrible shade of yellow and it's got some silver glitter kind of like imprinted inside it now the camera doesn't pick it up very well and it looks dusty from this shot here but it's not that's that actual glitter but you'll see the glitter better in a still shot towards the end of the video 
but again you can see the the footwear there very nice so we'll go to the back of the character there and move upwards so we've again you can see the definition on the legs there there is some definition there but she's not she's not um that well defined or muscular in the in that area um, we go up to the Daisy Duke hot pants which uh, has a badge on the back there now I'm disappointed that the badge doesn't have any detail on does have any words because the recent Freddy Krueger one in the Freddy vs Jason range had Freddy vs Jason printed on the logo on the badge now as I said before the style of the show is definitely the jacket the character is supposed to be in motion casting a ball and that reflects that with the tails of the jacket flowing away and the creases around the back of the jacket are very very detailed you can see the light reflecting on it there to show off the detail even more especially around the arm area as well I mean you can see the details on the arm there as it's ruffled up because the arms obviously going to be heavily in motion because that's where she emits her energy bolts from now what you can't see in a lot of detail is the uh, finger paint the, the nail paint sorry on the character which is something that Kota Bagheer tend to like to do they put bits of detail in such as that now uh, earrings as well she's got some earrings in which are gold circles with a, a strike across you can't really see them very well from the front of the character but um, they are a nice addition now this is the second pair of glasses that you get it's only with the first production run of the character and there's not usually a lot of production runs so this one's going to go up quite in value quite a bit quite quickly so I'll leave you with some stills finally I think the stills bring out the colours and vibrancy of the character an awful lot better than the video footage so I hope you enjoyed these stills that I took and you will see the one from the base does have um, a lot more um, clarity of the glitter but um, again I don't like the base I'm not going to labour on the point. The the bases I think is an important part of the character, and I think they've let themselves down a little bit on this one. But it's a great addition to the Kota Bakia range. I uh, hope you will comment on the new format. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. I do appreciate the feedback. Uh, I personally prefer this, so um, I think this is the way I'm going to do them for the time being. But your your feedback is appreciated and obviously you guys are the ones who watch the video so will act upon any feedback you give me and um, if it's obviously possible to do so but for the moment i hope you enjoyed the first video of the new year and hope you continue to watch please remember to like comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching guys